Welcome to a brand new episode of Timmy Talks in Chandelar. And today, um, I'm going to start with chapter 8, right? This is episode 8. Uh, let's fire it up. Here we go. Chandelar. Oh man, I love, I love that opening tune. I'm ready for it. Here we go. And today in Chandler, I've got some pretty clear goals. I want to finish that quest that I'm in to get the mana link. And then I really want to go into a dungeon. So that's my goal. Get the mana link, go into the dungeon, hopefully find some useful cards. I mean, I still need so many good cards to improve my deck. Uh, but before I jump into another episode of Chandler, first a quick message from our sponsor, 3 for one Trading. 3 for 1 Trading is one of Europe's leading Magic the Gathering retailers. Their online shop has a fantastic selection of high-end Magic cards, especially for vintage, legacy and, yes, yes, old-school Magic players. They now exclusively offer my community free, fully insured and fast worldwide shipping on all their high-end singles, full sets and out-of-print sealed products. They upload new cards every Wednesday and have weekly sale offers and reductions waiting just for you. Use my code TIMMY to get free worldwide shipping on your first order over $500 or euros. Have fun ordering those cards and thank you 3 for one Trading for sponsoring this video. Okay, and in we go. Timmy goes green. Okay, let's see. Well, let's turn the volume down a little bit. Uh, so we've got to go east to Blood Sand Steading. Okay, I'm really close. I'm going to do that first. Let's check out my deck. Okay, 60 cards. I mean, it's looking solid, right? Ooh, giant growth. That, ooh, I don't have any money for it, though. Okay, let's sell some stuff. I need that giant growth. Um, what can I sell? Get it on someone I can sell. It's only 45, though. Mm, is there anything here I can sell? Life Lace? Yeah, I can sell that. Lure, Sandstorm, Titania Song. Typhoon. Nah, Typhoon's pretty good in, when I get into the Blue Castle. Maybe some artifacts. I've got a lot of artifacts. So many cool cards. Like when I see a card like Al Aladdin's Lamp, I want to start doing something with it. I just can't sell these cards. I can't. Let me buy the giant growth. Okay, let's go. Because I'm also building a green deck, I think, or not. Let's see. Was that deck three? Yeah, that's deck three. Oh, that's all green, but that's really green big. Go big or go home. I think I should maybe like build like a green 40 card deck low to the ground, but you know that I'm going to do that later. Let's first just go and try to get that uh, mana link. Let's leave the village. Ah, okay, duel the shaman. Duel the shaman. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Start the duel. Let's see what I got. Forest, Mountain, Cockatrice, Giant Growth, Giant Spider, Mountain, and a Forest. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's good enough. There's a bird. Let's go Forest, Pass Turn. So, I mean, at least I've got enough mana to cast this. Just hope, hopefully I'm going to get some time. There is a Swamp hitting the board. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, mountain. And that's it. Okay, black mana. Pestilence. That's interesting. I mean, the pestilence is not doing much. Ooh, an inferno. I like it. It's seven, though, to cast, so it's going to take a while. Man, my deck's slow. No Lunderer Elves, nothing to ramp up. Another Pestilence? Okay, what I need to do is try to get rid of the Birds of Paradise because then both Pestilence are gonna destroy themselves, right? Because if there are no creatures in play, bury the Pestilence. Okay, so... Ooh, Pyro. Okay, um, I think what I'm gonna do... 
The thing is, I don't want to play anything because then he can start using the pestilence. Or should I just go for giant spider and see what happens? Hmm. I'm just, I'm curious to see what the computer is going to do. I'm going to go giant spider. I mean, he could, if he wants to, he could like ping for one, but then he kills his own bird. Oh, look at this. He is going to do it. Uh-oh, did I just sign my own um, loss here by casting that spider? Oh, <laughs> oh man, he's having so much fun now. Okay, then there's only one thing I can do, which is attack. I just gotta attack. I'm just gonna play the scimitar as well. I mean, he only has two swamps, so I mean, he can deal two damage, and I've got the Wanderlust, so I've, I'm on like, what, a, a four turn clock, maybe five turns? I'm gonna play Living Artifact on the Dancing Scimitar. That's, that's probably a good idea. That's gonna gain me some life. At least, at least cancel out the Wanderlust. Oh, look at that. Oh, the giant, playing on the giant spider was stupid. It was stupid. I'm going to strip one of the swamps. Okay, I'm going to play Living Artifact on my scimitar. Okay. And I'm going to attack with the spider. Done. I mean, he's on 11. So, I've got the grow, so I can put him on six. And remember, the pestilence also works for him, so. And he only has one swamp, so. Okay, mountain. This is really good, because now I can go pyrotechnics. I think I'm going to do that. Let's go pyrotechnics. One, one two and three yeah now we're cooking now i can hit him for three put him on four next turn i could potentially kill him with the giant growth oh he's gonna gain life you oh that is unfortunate mm, let's see let's do cockatrice Let's attack. I mean, I'm not using the giant growth until I know I can kill him with the giant growth. Mm. I do always like the, the green-black color combination. It's really cool. I'm liking this deck as well, like the Pestilent Synergies. Oh, look at that. I'm on six. Oh, there's a lightning bolt. Yeah. He is toast, but I'm going to try to do it with the giant growth. Let's do giant growth on giant spider. Why not? Hey, winning the match. Oh, nice. Another asp. That is really good because I'm building my mono green deck with asps. So take the cards. Ooh, what am I getting? A black lotus? Am I getting that like on turn one? Ooh, so close. I just gotta go to the mana link. Oh man, forest dragon. Uh, duel the forest dragon. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, I got an asp, forest, Kelvin warlord, untamed wilds, mountain, mountain, Sheevan. Ooh, and I've got that, um, oh, that's really cool. I think I'm going to use the Lotus to cast the Sheevan early. I think that's the plan. I mean, one of the things I can do is go Untamed Wilds, but I'm not going to. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to try to, to cast my Sheevan turn three. That would be insane. Um, Mountain. 
I'm going to attack. So nice to see that Asp uh, counter there. I think the Nusp, Nusp Asp is such a cool card. Such a unique little ability. Okay, 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 okay. Now we're gonna do something funny. Wait, wait, let's first attack. Do it second main. Okay, second main. We gotta make red mana if we're casting the Shiva. Shiva Dragon hitting the board. Turn three, yeah. I love it. And then we have the Warlord coming up, which is a 3-3. Three, three. Then we play the Spider next turn, turn into a 4-4. Four, four. It's going to be really big. Look at that. He's discarding cards. Oh, man. Let's attack. I'm not going to pump it because I want to play the Warlord. Let's play Kelvin Warlord. Pass turn. So it's a 3-3. Three, three. Going to play Giant Spider, make it a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, this is really good. So far, the deck's working like a charm. Can't complain. Okay, we gotta go forest, giant spider, and let's attack. And then it's done, right? This is exactly 10 points of damage. There we go. Take the cards. So many good cards. Hey, the Keeper is happy. Ooh, another Warlord, a Disintegrate. Elven Riders is good as well. I need money. Uh, trade red amulets for green cards. Um, I don't know, do I want to trade? Let's see if we can, we can sell something. Um, let's see if I got anything. Okay, Warp Artifacts. Ooh, 210, that's a lot of money. cards I want to sell it's hard to, to sell green cards when you're playing green don't really see anything that I want to sell do I want to board something in like how many giant groves do I have I've got one here how many in the deck giant spider zero giant groves okay Play Giant Grove, take out the Aladdin's Ring. It's super cool, but it's not that good. You know what I'm gonna do? Let's go here. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make a mono green deck. I think I've got enough cards now to make a pretty good mono green deck. No, I don't wanna sell, I'll just take them out. Okay, you know, let's 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 first do the lance. The lance. I guess you need like let's say 17 lands. So we're gonna make a 14 or 40 card deck, so 17 lands. Or because we could do let's go 14 forests and then three of these. And we're gonna go to green. Um I wanna play mainly like small creatures, so Barbary Apes, um Wow, I've got so many giant groves. Four giant groves. Um, Lanor Elves, gonna put three in. This could be a pretty good deck. I mean, look at it, it's gonna go really fast. Script Sprites. Guess the Sylvan, like people keep telling me in the comments they should play Sylvan, so let's play Sylvan. Um, what else do I have? Dervishes, quite nice. Already 32 creatures. Um, are there some artifact creatures I can play? I think the Yoshin Soldier is good. Let's go Yoshin. And maybe then I need some bigger stuff, right? Because now I get really a lot of small things. So Cockatrice perhaps. One Force, always nice. Um, giant Spiders, two Giant Spiders. Maybe one Yoshin less, and then one Giant Spider. You know what? I'm just going to try this out. It, it looks funny. 
to remove extra card, then we gotta go back. So I guess only three of each. Mm, maybe play Dirkwood? Do we have something else? Like, not really. I could go Thicket. Thicket is, Thicket is more of a problem, I feel. Let's go Thicket. Take Dirkwood out. Ooh, I could go Double Strip Mine. Anyway, let's let's leave it at this. This is the deck I'm going to play. Um, oh yeah, I want to go to a dungeon. Let's have a look. Ruins of Suchan. Ooh, it's got a Berserk. Oh, this is this is the one I was looking for last episode. So Shale Cliff Forge. I think I saw it on the map, actually. Um, let's have a look. Shilcliff. Here, Shilcliff Forge. It's west of Shilcliff, so we're gonna go there. Uh, maybe save, just to be on the safe side. Timmy goes green. Travel west. Okay, everybody wants me to go to Shilcliff Forge, so I will. Ooh, look at this. Hey, forest. Nice. I like it. Where's the white wizard now fighting? The white wizard is... Oh, over there. Oh, actually, I could go there. I could just teleport. Begin a quest. Defeat the undead knight. Never mind. Um, let's go there. Let's fight against this dude. It's nice because we get to check out the mono green deck I just built. Duel the paladin! Okay, start the duel. Look at my hands, pretty good. Forest, giant growth, asp, spider. I'm liking this. Early pressure. Turn one play, I'm like a pro. Yeah, I got turn one play, baby. So the asp, really sweet card. Let me know how you feel about this card in the comments. No, short supply shares, dude. I was, so, I was so looking forward to start attacking and like being annoying with that poison counter, but which is not a poison counter, but you know what I mean, that asp counter. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go Whirling Dervish. I'm gonna go Whirling Dervish because I wanna get counters on the Dervish. I've got the Giant Growth if he blocks. Look at that, he's not playing anything. I'm gonna attack. Let's attack, see what happens. Give me a counter, give me a counter, give me a counter, give me a counter. Hey, it's dealt damage. Um, Let's go Giant Spider. Yeah, let's go Giant Spider. Hey, there's the counter. Yes. <laughs> this feels good. Get the counter going on. So I can swing in for four. This deck is doing really well. I can animate the factory. Yeah, let's do that. Animate factory. Done. And then attack with factory, spire, dervish, and then play ocean soldier second main. Go ocean soldier. Another counter. It's like a 3-3. Like, once you've got whirling dervish going, it's like a super good creature. There's the white knights. Okay, okay. It's a little tough. It's a little tough. Uh, ooh, I can play Force of Nature. Oh, <laughs> first I'm gonna attack though. Let's just attack. See what he does. Yeah, I'm gonna block the soldier. I mean, it's tempting to play the Giant Grove here, but I'm not gonna because I want to go for Force of Nature. Force of Nature. Eight eight. If he has a Wrath, it's really bad. Like, because I'm fully committed to the board now. So, Wrath of God can actually give him maybe even a victory here. Uh, yeah, let's pay. Pay upkeep cost. And now we're going to attack with everything. And I, I don't think he can survive because I also have to Giant Growth. Um... Let's go Giant Grove on the spider. Yep, that's it. Um, let's take the cards. 
Trade green amulets for any enchantments. Wow, it's pretty decent. I'm saying wow, but there's not really a lot to wow about. Channel, perhaps? Let's buy the channel. I could play channel fireball in my, my other deck, which is cool. Um, let's have a look. What do we know about this? No artifacts allowed. Life loss carried over. Orcish Aura Flame permanently in effects contains small red creatures. Okay, small red creatures. Let's have a look. So, artifacts need to go out. Um, let's have a look. What can I play instead? I like the music. Dun, dun, dun. I like pompous music. Um, I could go War Mammoth. I mean, War Mammoth is pretty good. Um, Sandstorm. If he's got a lot of small creatures, Sandstorm should be good. Uh, one Lure, maybe? Or maybe another Dirkwood Boars? Let's do Dirkwood Boars. Okay, I feel, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident. Uh, let's just save it. Okay, so I'm really close to the forge. I'm going to go to the forge. Leave the village. Travel east to Shalecliff War Forge. Okay. I'm going to go to the forge. Um, sure, Duel the Enchantress. I can win a Cockatrice. It's pretty sweet. There we go. Oh, that hand's not great. Forest, 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 force of nature, forest, forest, giant growth. Okay, so another forest. In other words, I just need six turns of my opponent to do nothing and then I cast force of nature. Another forest, great. Okay, okay, war mammoth, that's something. I mean, am I playing too many lands? I feel like 17 is normal when you like do a draft or something, but I don't know. Maybe there are different rules in Chandelar. Because I mean, back in the 90s, we used to have the 20, 20, 20 rule. So 60 card deck, 20 lands, 20 creatures, 20 spells. And that included enchantments and artifacts. There we have Dirk with Boars. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to attack. I'm going to see if he's going to block. Taking the bait. Now I've got a mini uh, force of nature. I love that. I used to make those a lot as a kid, like a mini force of nature, because I, I didn't have force, because of course it's rare, so then you would make a mini force of nature. But I wasn't really a green mage, though, I have to admit. Although I really like green as a color. It's like super cool. I mean, green is the color of the big monsters, right? Okay, here's Cockatrice. That is a bit of a nuisance, but I'm going to play Force of Nature now. Yeah, Force of Nature. Problem, of course, is that he's got the Cockatrice. So I'm probably going to just attack with the Force and trade it with the Cockatrice. But at least then he also takes, or she, also takes four points of damage. So... Ooh, Aspect of Wolf. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, this is really bad. Oh, look at him go. Look at her go, I should say. Um, done. Wow. Dealing six at a time. Okay, but I've got a chump blocker now. I'm first going to attack for nine. Eleven, actually. Wow. Uh, I'm going to place Crypt Sprites. I mean, it can jump with the script. I'm gonna play Barbary Apes, pass the turn. So I mean, next turn, even if he keeps the Cockatrice untapped, she's gonna die. Living Lance, oh, what a boss, Living Lance. Um, do I wanna block actually? No, I don't wanna block. Take the damage, go to six. And yes, I wanna pay the upkeep or else I die. One, two, Three, four, done. Um, 
I guess I'm just gonna attack with everything, including my forests, because why not? Wait, if, if she has, oh no, if she has a fog. Yeah, this is a problem of the game. I've already chosen my attacker, so I cannot go back. Wow. If she has a fog, she's gonna win. Okay, she doesn't. <laughs> I was worried. Um, Take the cards. Ooh, one an amulet, that's pretty sweet. Um, okay, is this? Oh, that's the dungeon, I found the dungeon. Um, let's, do I need to sell something? I, I feel like I can sell stuff. Wow, such a cool card, Army of Allah. I love the art, I love what it does. It's so good when you're playing like a deck with first strike. Uh, but I am going to sell it because I'm not going to play white. Sage of Letnam. Oh, I love this. One of my favorite cards. Going to sell it though, even though it's only 20. I got to sell it. I'm not playing with those colors. Guardian Beast. I can't sell it for 75. Can't do that. Um, okay, so I've got some more money. I'm going to go to the other village before I go into the dungeon. Uh, lure. I could win a lure. That's good. Okay, duel. Duel. I mean, my deck, I feel like, needs a killer beast, right? That would be quite good with all the forests. Uh, script sprites. I've got forest, sandstorm, forest, thicket, and a giant spider. So, decent hand, I think. Like, sandstorm, not really good in these matchups, but I've got it for in the dungeon. Uh, another forest. I mean, this deck needs like more grizzly bears and elfish archers and like quick stuff. I think spitting slug is not in here, right? It's not in this game. Uh, let's go forest. And I mean, where are all my Lanawar elves? There are like three Lanawar elves in here. I never draw them. If I could go turn one Lanawar elves. I could go like turn three, play the spider, turn four, play the thicket. But it's not meant to be, I guess. There's an enchantress. That is a little scary, the enchantress, because she, she can do a lot with that. She starts playing aspect of wolf and web and stuff. I mean, Web is actually quite good in an Enchantress deck because you're making her an O4, so she's out of bolt range. And of course you get a card for it because you've got an Enchantress out, so. Oh, look at that. Oh, now she's doing it. Yeah, this is gonna be tough. At least I've got a, I've got a Thicket and a Cockatrice. I feel like I'm gonna go Thicket first. Thicket first, attack with Thicket next turn, see what she does. Just attack, maybe she blocks. If not, also fine, she takes two. Then I play Cockatrice, gonna play with both next turn. Oh, ho, ho, there's a Cockatrice. Ay, 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 this is annoying. I'm just gonna attack her with the thicket. Let's see, let's see what's gonna happen. Yeah, they're gonna trade. Okay, sure. Gonna play Cockatrice. Gonna play Asp. A wild growth. Look at that art. It's pretty cool. I love the original art by Mark Poole, though, but this is pretty sweet as well. A 3-7 now. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, this other cockatrice is not good. It's my... My ticket. Oh, again, gonna trade. We're in, we're in for a long game because I don't really see an opening. Oh man, Living Artifact, are you kidding me? Living Artifact, another card that I think is, is, is quite good in Enchantress build. Oh man, I'm in trouble. Uh, Sylvan, okay, I mean, I've got life. I'm gonna practice how to use the Sylvan correct, right? In Because I don't know how to use it in Chandelar. I really don't. I feel like I'm always doing it wrong, but... Someone said after you draw the card, then you use it, but... 
Don't know if you can. Oh man, regeneration. That is really bad. Oh no, look at this. <laughs> um, I'm going to block on the spider. Take the damage. And then next turn I can at least attack, right? Upkeep. Okay, now draw. Done. No, I can no longer use the Sylvan, so I gotta use it before I draw, right? No worries, we're just gonna try it again next turn. Um, you know what? I could also attack with this. Put it. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna protect my life total because I've got the Sylvan. Oh, of course he's got living artifact. He doesn't care. Oh, stupid. Yeah, this attack was meaningless, but you gotta you gotta try something. I mean, living art. The thing is, living artifact is pretty bad. But if you have multiple living artifacts and if you combine them with your Fujiwara Shandras in the deck, it's actually pretty good. Um, there's a two six. Gonna take the damage. I'm gonna go to fourteen, and now I'm gonna see if I want to have an extra cart with the Sylvan. There's a dirt Wars. I think at least he takes the damage from Mana Burn. Oh, I forgot. Ah, damn. The problem is my, my hand's on the enter button, so I just can't click it too quickly. Oh. At least I got a Dirkwood Boar, so I can trade the Boars for the Boars if he attacks. Look at him gaining even more life with those living artifacts. This is so frustrating. I think I'm going to lose, to be honest, but we'll see. 14 against 12. Oh man, look at that go. Okay, okay, we're gonna remember. We're gonna use the Sylvan. There we go, we're gonna use the Sylvan. Uh, pay for life. Put it back on library. I mean, I'm gonna pay for life because I need to draw through it, right? Oh man. Forest, forest, forests. Oh man, this is not great. Um, this is not, I mean, this is, I'm in a bad spot. I'm in a really bad position. I guess I need to board in Tranquility because this, this is a game with a lot of enchantments. Like I've, I'm losing so many games because I don't have that Tranquility. So I'm learning from this game, I'm learning. Got a board in Tranquilities. Uh, Living Lance, wow. I do love this deck. I think it's really cool. Oh man, this is bad news. I'm gonna chump with my Asp. I'm gonna do it. Sylvan. Done. Put back on library. What are we gonna put back? Um, The factory. Put back on library. The spider. Um, the cool thing is I do have a sandstorm. So if he attacks with everything, I can cast the sandstorm. And that would be really, really cool. So hopefully she's gonna attack with everything and I can use the sandstorm. Oh, she's gaining so much life and she's doing so well and I am not doing great. I so need to board in a tranquility. I mean, you've got like three, right? So I could do it. I think I'm going to play with two tranquility. There's the attack. Uh, ten. I could block with everything and then I can kill it. But is that what I want? Uh, I could also just throw a land in front of the bus. I am so toast. Another enchantress. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, oh, forgetting my Sylvan. Stupid. Um, let's go factory. Let's see, one, two, three. I got a lot of lands, but 
she's got a lot of lands as well. I kind of feel like at a certain point I will have to do an alpha strike because that thicket just keeps attacking. And it also has regeneration, by the way. So even if I put everything in front of it to kill it, you can just go pay one green, regenerate. I'm just dying very slowly. Did I put a Desert Twister in this deck? There's the attack. Mm, just gonna put another forest in front. I feel, to be honest, I feel like giving up. Again, forgetting the Sylvan, by the way. Um, you know what? I'm going to give it one more turn of just doing nothing and blocking the thicket and stuff. And, and if then, if I don't have like a card that gets me out of this hellhole, I'm just going to do an Alpha Strike with everything. I don't care. And after that, probably just lose the game. I want to move on with my life. You know, this is... I mean, this can take another half an hour and I would still lose. Because I don't think there's anything in my deck that can save me here. Okay, we're just going to put one. This is the last time. Let's see. Let's see if the Sylvan can, can give us something. Put back on library, and then we got to choose between a giant growth. I'm, I'm going to go Lana or else. Put back on library. And then we've got the giant growth. Okay, so we're going to go for the Alpha Strike because why not? Why not? Um, let's close this for a moment. Attack, 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 and attack. Open it back up. We're leaving two forests open. One force for the Giant Grove and one for the uh, Sandstorm. Just because I like, I love doing it. I'm looking forward to doing that. Okay, there we see the blocks. Um, it's not blocking anything else. Okay, okay. Um, let's go Giant Grove on the Spider. And kill the boy. Oh, on one? I should have played that. Why did, what? Did I miss that? Could I have killed him? Okay, whatever, man. I suck at this game. I assumed I couldn't get even close to killing the enchantress. Why don't I why don't I just take my time to kind of count up how many points of damage I can inflict? Uh anyway. Just just kill me now, please. Just kill me now, please. Okay. At least at least I get to play the sandstorm, which is cool. Oh wow. Look at that. Oh, because all the lands die. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm actually going to survive? I think I am. Oh, wow, because of all the lands. Wait a minute. She's on four. I'm on eight. Okay. That's not too shabby. Um, I think I can. Like, she's got one creature untapped. She's on four. I should just attack with everything, right? Mm, I could activate factory. I guess that's better. Activate factory. Change to assembly worker. Let's go, people. Attack. 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 Would be nice if you had this button just alpha strike, you know? Attack. 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 Okay, am I going to win? Am I going to really win? Even after that mistake with the giant growth? Wow, I'm going to win it! Woohoo! And I win a giant badger. Oh, that's so cool. I want to play giant badger. Take the cards. I'm going to play giant badger. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm going to pay the gold because I'm, I'm a little bit done. I want to go into dungeon. Okay. Um, but first things first. 
I like this music. Do, 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 do. Okay, I gotta remember. Um, let's see. We got Barbary Apes, Cockatrice. We got. I'm gonna take our Dirkwood Boars. We're gonna board in another Cockatrice. Um, I am gonna take out the Sylvan again. I'm just not. Although it can help me draw new cards. I've got a quick deck. Okay, I'm gonna leave it in. Um. I want to play Giant Badger because it's Giant Badger. It's so cool. Um, what to take out, though? You know what? I'm just going to play 41 cards, whatever. Do I have any other cards I want to board in? Lure is really good because I've got Double Cockatrice and I've got a Thicket. Oh, man. Oh, and i got to board in Tranquilities, of course. Uh, let's do two Tranquilities. What to take out though? Like this is really a problem. Um, let's take a Barbary Apes. Just a two-two. Maybe one Lunarer Elves. I don't need that much ramp. And one Forest. Could I do one Forest? Is that really stingy? That's really stingy, right? I need to keep it. Um, maybe just one Tranquility. One Tranquility. Yeah. Okay. Green amulets for any sorceries. I've got a lot of green amulets. Um, are there any good sorceries? Red, of course, fireball is really good. I don't have any fireballs, right? I'll trade. Uh, are there any green sorceries I wanna have? Ice storm. Oh yeah, I could go for ice storm and then... That's actually, I could do that. Because now I've got um, three Ice Storms, I believe, and I've got two Strip Mines, so I could like play a Land Destruction deck. I could do that. Should I do that? I don't know, but I could do that. Um, I assume there are no color sorceries now. Um, oh, Mana Clash is so cool. Two green amulets, though. I lost my Mana Clash. I need to get my Mana Clash back. Uh, maybe a second Fireball? Let's do that. I'll trade. Okay. We're going to save again because that's what I do now. Defeat the Enchantress. Um, you know what? I'm going to pay the gold. And I'm going to go into the dungeon, people. Let's go into the dungeon. What? Why this? I wanted to go in the dungeon. Um... I'm going to pay 80 gold because, oh no, okay, I clicked on duel apparently. I wanted to click on pay 80 gold, but I guess we got a duel. Ah, oh, it's so annoying. At least I can win a gem bazaar, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's see, giant grove, sandstorm. Again, the sandstorm. Like, I keep drawing into the sandstorm. There's only one sandstorm in the entire deck. Uh, asp, forest, factory, forest, forest. Okay, so I go forest and go asp. Maybe I can play one forest less, play one Lanara Elves more. Right. Let's go factory, because then next turn I can animate the factory and attack with that as well. Two giant grows, which is pretty sweet. I love the, the oh more Jambazars. More Jambazars, please. That is so funny. Uh, okay, forest. This is really nice, right? Of green. You can do like two things. Because the creatures are so cheap, so I've got enough mana over to animate this. And I can attack. Let's go, Assembly Walkers. Do it, please. 18, 15. Feeling good about myself. I can attack next turn for four. Got double giant growth, so. No blockers, okay. Uh, let's go Whirling Dervish then. Animate the factory. Let's attack. You know, this deck is pretty okay. I, I mean, people have said in the comments before, like you should play with 40 card decks and I get it. I, I actually, I think you're right. 
obviously your deck is better with 40 cards. However, um, there are so many cards I want to build and play with. That's why I usually go for 60. And also, I guess against certain decks, you get in these standstill situations and then it is better to have more cards in your deck. But yeah, obviously 40 cards, it's way more consistent. Oh wait, cancel. I thought we were already in the combat phase. So that's, I mean, that's just to make a long story short, I play with usually 60 cards just because I can then, you know, put more cards in my deck and like build funnier builds. That's why I do it. Why didn't I just use Giant Gross and end this match? Okay. Because I'm talking to you guys, sorry. Need to focus on the game. Jembazar, Jembazar, Forest Island Swamp, okay. Okay, let's attack. For some reason, I'm not animating my factory. Let's go Giant Grove. Let's go Giant Grove. Hey, there we go. Drop of Honey? Oh, that's cool. Fog Channel and the Gemma's are taking the cards. Okay, so we're in the ruins. It's always so scary in the ruins. Okay, there's my first opponent. Let's see if we can explore a little bit further. Further down the line. Ooh, I'm gaining some extra life. More opponents. More opponents. Okay, do I want to play against the Ogre or is this a Goblin King? Let's go for the Ogre. The Troll Shaman. Okay. Hey, I got to start. That's good. Play first. Yes, please. Start the duel. Okay, I've got Tranquility, Forest, Cockatrice, Forest, Script Sprites, Asp, and Forest. So I've got a pretty quick start. Let's go for the Asp. Let's hope that he doesn't have a turn one play because then it can start being annoying with the Asp. Okay, that's good. Um, let's go Forest and let's attack. And the Oasis doesn't give any mana, so it's actually pretty good. The Asp is gonna do some work. Aha! Let's go Sprites. And look at that Tranquility, by the way. I can start playing Tranquility next turn, destroying the Oriflame. And he's going to take an extra point of damage. I love it. Everything is going according to plan. Tranquility, get rid of the Aura Flame, attack again. Now he's got to infest the mountain again in the getting rid of the Asp counter. Ooh, he's going to take a life. Okay, man, do it. Uh, another forest. Okay, now I'm going to play Sylvan. I'm going to attack. I guess Sylvan is bad in a dungeon because it's you You carry life losses carried over, right? So probably shouldn't have played with the Sylvan. Let's have a look. Hmm, there's a Minotaur. Put back. What are we gonna put back? Uh, the dervish. Put back. Am I then gonna draw the mammoth? Yeah, okay. Trying to understand how the Sylvan works, because now it seems that I can only look two cards deep, but maybe I'm missing something. Um You know what? I'm gonna go war mammoth. I know I could have done Asp put growth on it, but I'm gonna be a bit more conservative. I want to keep the giant growth in hand. First gonna pass turn, I got War Mammoth to attack with, with Trample. Ooh, Stone Giant, that's pretty good. That is, oh, forgetting the Sylvan. Um, hmm, that is pretty good. Let's attack with these two. Probably gonna block the Mammoth and I can play the giant growth. 
The nice thing is when you play Giant Grove on the Mammoth, I'm now also end killing the Giant and dealing some Trample damage. Which is actually a lot of value from one Giant Grove. I think War Mammoth, again, is one of those creatures because of Urnum. The yeah. same goes for Giant Spider. Urnum Jin pushes those creatures away. Hey, Fireball. But the creatures actually are not that bad. I'll take the damage. I keep forgetting my Sylvan, by the way. That's... Sorry, guys, if you're watching, you must be annoyed by the way I'm playing today, but... You know, at least, uh, you know, it gets me a little bit closer. Okay, let's do the question. Oh, wait, 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 I didn't click on anything. What wrong? Am I getting kicked out? Oh, no, I'm not being kicked out. Good. I was worried. Uncle Istvan, of course, has a power of one, as we all know. Ooh, I got an asp. I like it. Um, you know what? I'm going to explore more over there. I've got a good feeling about it. I feel over there is more to see. Oh, there's the sun. So lost the toss here. But I guess I can start. So we got Whirling Dervish, Lure, Asp, Forest, Giant Grove, Forest, Giant Grove. I'm liking this hand. That's first attack. Because I can go Asp after this. So I've got two Asps on board and I've got two Giant Groves. So even if he has a blocker, I can put a Grove on it and my Asp survives and I can keep being annoying. Oh, this could, this could be really, really fun. Get a lot of Asp counters on there. That would be really sweet. Ooh, there's a brigade. You know, this is the scenario that I talked about. I'm just gonna, or I could go Whirling Dervish. You know what? I think I'm gonna trade an Asp for the Goblin. Or not. Okay, he's making it easy on me. Don't even have to decide. So now I'm gonna go Dervish because Dervish you know, if it can start getting counters on the Dervish, it can get out of hand quite quick. Oh, look at this! All the damage he's getting! Oh, wow. I can even play a lure now. That would be funny. I'm not gonna, though. I'm just gonna attack here, and whatever gets blocked gets a giant growth. Man, this deck it's working like a charm so far. Let's knock let's knock it off. I don't want to get bad luck. Don't want to jinx it. But I mean these these asp counters are really killing this this goblin goblin lord that I'm battling. Oh wow. And he's using all his mana just to get rid of the asp counters. Oh these asp counters are working like a charm. Uh, if I do Giant Grove, I, I can kill him already. Let's do that. Hey! Wow, that was a quick battle. Oof, this is tough. This is tough. Ay, 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 what to do here? Um, I wish I would have gone for this. Um, let's attack. A sorcerer, okay. Hey, winning the toss. I want to play first for sure. Oh, man, again. I've got Sylvan, which is not handy because life loss is carried over anyway. So Whirling Dervish, Thicket Badger, okay. I mean, Giant Badger is really cool. I mean, you, if you like magic novels, you need to read the one with green sleeves in it. It's like a trilogy. It's, it's really good. Forgot the name for some, what was it? Sacrifice or something and something with forest. I read the books a long time ago. Um, okay, let's go. I'm going to go. Well, I'm going to go Whirling Dervish, actually. Instead of Sylvan, I think. Yeah, let's go Whirling Dervish. Yeah. 
Oh, giant strength. That is not great. Um, what do what does giant badger do again? If it blocks, it gets plus. Okay, so I could put the giant badger in front next turn. Um, I'm gonna take the damage. I'm gonna take it. It's a lot, but I'm gonna go giant badger and hopefully be able to block with the badger. Just gonna attack now. I mean, it's gonna be a trade. Hurl Jekyll for the Giant Badger. Oh, that is unfortunate. Triggered effects. No, I've got no triggered effects. Um, at least they're gonna trade, which is something. But yeah, this is not looking good. There's a Brass Man. Um, I gotta play Giant Spider, right? Yeah, Giant Spider. I kind of feel like this is not good for me. That this, that I'm just, I don't have any control. Life loss is carried over. Like, go okay, play the thicket. Just pass. I mean, I can attack, but he can block on the Brass Man. What I can hope for is that I draw into a lure. Look at that attacking. Um, yeah, the annoying thing here is that I'm losing life. Hmm. I think I'm gonna attack with the spider. I could have played the Sylvan, I guess. Probably should have done that. Um, let's play Sylvan before I forget again. Uh, I'm gonna attack with the thicket. Okay. I'm on 11. That's the thing. Even I'm probably gonna win this, but I'm on 11. That's the biggest problem here. So I need to find some dice to maybe gain some extra life. The funny thing is now that I'm in the dungeon, I'm thinking, why am I not playing with Stream of Life? You know, instead of the Sylvan, for example. Stupid. Um, put it back on library, obviously. Um, the forest. Put it back on library. The forest. So I'm keeping the giant growth. Um, let's attack with the thicket. Okay, so next turn if I attack and he decides not to block again, then I can actually kill him. Um, let's block with the Asp. Um, okay, let's attack. See what he does. Don't think he's blocking, so let's bump it up. Yep, there we go. Oh, there's a treasure. There's a treasure. Oh, <laughs> but I'm on 11 life. This is a tough dungeon, right? I get no more dice. Uh, I got to go for it. I got I to gotta do it. I hope you guys are like keeping your fingers crossed for me because this is not great, but gotta go for it. Okay, play first, please. Remember, there's a berserk in this dungeon. Okay, Sylvan, I don't, I don't mind. Uh, Asp, Forest, Cockatrice, Factory, Asp. Actually, pretty good hand because I can go Asp now. Factory next turn plus another Asp. And then I've got a turn where I can attack with two Asps and a Factory Animated. Turn after that, maybe play another creature or something. We'll see. There's the Brigade. Let's play Factory. Let's attack first. Not really happy with the Balloon Brigade because he can give it flying and then fly over my Asp. Why? 
for now, I'm just hoping I'm going to win this and, 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 and get, get that die, you know, get the, that extra bonus, hopefully some life bonus and get the treasure. Let's first try to win this though. I wonder if he's going to pay for the, for the asp counter. Yeah, it's going to pay. Okay, I'm not sad about that. Okay, I'm going to do this. I could go for Giant Badger, but I'm going to go for another line. Change to Assembly Worker. Actually going to keep one Asp on Blocking Duty. Okay, uh, Pump Assembly Worker. Ooh, losing a life, okay. Another mountain. I, 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 I'm, I'm worried he's going to give the goblin flying and then fly over me. That would be unfortunate. Okay. Could have been worse. Um, let's see. What's wisdom? Hmm. I kind of feel like I want to attack with two asps and then play giant badger. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, now I'm gonna play Giant Badger. Could have gone a bit more aggressive, like animating the factories, not play Badger. But I'm gonna go for Badger next turn, go for Cockatrice. Oh, giving it flying! No! Stop dealing damage! Oh no! Oh, this is bad. Uh, let's see. Let's go Cockatrice. Let's hit, we're just going to attack with everything. I'm, I'm willing to trade. Okay, we're just going to trade. I'm fine. I'm going to play Cockatrice. Please let me survive. Helm of Jatsuk. Okay, that's fine. I can, I can deal with the helm. I'm fine. Hobbit Polka Band. Let's go Forest. You know what I'm going to do now? I think I'm going to animate my factories. Let's do that. Change to Assembly Worker. Yes, sir. And I'm just going to attack with my Assembly Workers. That's all I'm going to do. There we go. On three. Is he giving it banding? That's funny. Another goblin polka back. Okay. Um, what is wisdom? If I attack with my cockatoo, it's going to put him on a one. I think I'm just going to do the same. Just going to attack again with these two. And with this one. I mean, he's got a block now, exactly. Um, one and one. Hopefully I can win it next turn. I'm on nine, get the die, hopefully gain some extra life, get the treasure. Okay, um, let's animate, because maybe he's got some removal in hand, who knows. Okay, let's attack. Here we go. Hey, okay. Uh, hey, a giant badger. That's funny. Hey, a mox jet. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, I think I need to go here. I think behind the sorceress there's something. That's what I'm going to go for now. Problem is I'm on nine, so. 
Ooh, force of nature. Okay, let's look at my hand. I've got an asp. Again, the Sylvan Library. It's so, it's so funny when you've got a card that's not useful. You keep drawing it. It's some kind of rule. I don't know. Oh, man. Okay, I've got the script sprites. I can go sprites next turn. Hit him for three, which is pretty good. There's the Hurl Jackal. I'm just going to attack. Turn him sideways. Go Forest. Go Script Sprites. Pass. Um, just attack. Or do I want to attack, actually? Oh, man, I already clicked on attack. Um, I'm just going to attack with one. I mean, ideally, I would have wanted to attack with the sprites, keep the badger on blocking duty, but I kind of thought about that too late and I already clicked on attack, so... Oh, bull lightning! Oh, that's bad! Okay, I'm now really happy that I kept this at bay. Oh, look, I'm on two! I'm on two! This is so risky. Oh, man, this is so bad. Uh, let's go War Mammoth. I, just, I got attack, right? Please don't play another Bull Lightning. Please don't. Is he going to go Bull Lightning? I mean, it's nice they got a Mox Jet, but they want that Berserk. My deck needs a Berserk. Okay, Bird Maiden. Which is actually a serious problem as well, but I think I got the game now because I can attack with both. Yay! Okay, wow. What? What? Where is it? Okay, where is where is the treasure? Like, seriously. Uh, I'm going to go here. I'm just going to fight her again. I don't care. I know I'm on one. Whatever. I'm on two. I'm on two. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. I've never been better. Please give me a good hand. Actually, it looks like a good hand. Forest, Factory, Asp. Okay, so I could go Forest, Lana, or Elf. I think it's the best bet. Or should I go Forest, Asp? If it go Lana, or Elf, we've got three mana next turn. Which is not really going to do that much for me. So I'm going to go Asp because I want to put pressure on. I'm just going to attack with that next turn. So I, I'm in Lightning Bolt range. Uh, okay. So I, yeah, let's do this. Then attack. I've got double Lanawer. I mean, a double Giant Grove, which is nice. So next turn, I can animate the factory. Attack for two, plus Lanawer and Asp. Attack for four. I've got Giant Grove as well. Could deal seven. She's on eight. This could be, this could work. A meek stone, okay, I, I don't care about that. Uh, again, the Sylvan, like seriously? Oh, uh, really? Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. I can kill with the double giant growth. I can already kill her. Wow, that's ideal. Let's just attack. Go for it. Giant growth. Giant growth. Hey, winning the game. Hey, gaining some life. Okay, I'm liking this. Where is the treasure? Where is the treasure? Come on. Let's go in here. Oh, man, I'm anxious. I want to get the treasure. I'm running out of patience. Cockatrice, start the duel. I've got an asp again, turn one. Okay. She's got the iron star, whatever. Um, let's go forest asp. Next turn we can go factory. It's not this is not great. I do have the tranquility though. Which is nice, but it's not ideal. Okay, let's go forest, go whirling dervish. Whirling dervish, whirling dervish.
Oh, there's a warrior. Okay. War of a warrior. Oh, I should have played factory. Stupid. Stupid. Um, you know what? I'm going to attack with both. And whoever he blocks is going to put a, uh, a giant growth on. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, a Dwarven Warrior is quite scary if you have, like, only five life, so... Okay, so, I mean, she's on seven. Oh, Dragon Whelp! Wow, that's a really good card, a Dragon Whelp. Oh, no. Oh, no, not a Dragon Whelp. What can I do? Um, there's like nothing I can do against this dragon. Well, I can play Tranquility, destroy the Aura Flame. Like, there's nothing I can do against this. Well, like I need a giant spider or something. Because then with giant spider and sandstorm, I can kill the whelp. Am I dead? Oh, I'm gonna die. She's gonna pump five mana into it. God. I'm dead. I lost Cockatrice. I didn't find Berserk. <sighs> okay. You know what? I am still happy. I think this was a good run. I'm gonna save it here. Um, I mean, I got a mana link. I got a, a Mox Jet. That I'm not going to use, but still, um, I won a lot of matches, so I think this green deck is really good. But yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Didn't find the Berserk, so we'll just have to have to go for that next time. And now there's still these two cards, so just gonna gonna go and, and look for it again. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And before I go, if you enjoy the content that I make, you know, the videos and all the stuff about old school, please consider becoming a patron. Check out patreon.com slash timmytalks for all the ins and outs. And the cool thing is, if you become a patron, your name will be mentioned in the end scroll. What end scroll? This end scroll. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? 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 Somebody can see.